Hello everyone and a warm welcome to all for this Sunday's tutorial. This Sunday's tutorial is on the various features that we see in an ectopic pregnancy. Now we know that uh, ectopic pregnancy is a pregnancy that is outside the uterus and there are various reasons that can cause ectopic pregnancy amongst them being a fallopian tube damage, either a blocked tube or post-surgical status of the tube. A previous ectopic pregnancy increases the risk for another one acute PID and even chronic PIDs which have damaged the tube over a period of time and caused scar tissue, endometriosis which is a leading cause of infertility in most women today and again endometriosis can cause a hematosalpings and a blocked tube. Other reasons also include patients who have undergone fertility treatment, older age group as well as an abnormal uterine shape that can contribute to misplaced pregnancies. Another reason for ectopic pregnancies are intrauterine devices as well. So these are the various causes of ectopic pregnancy and we have to suspect ectopic pregnancies especially when the beta HCG is about 2000 and we do not see an intrauterine pregnancy sac. We have to hunt for an ectopic until we find one. So here are some cases that I'm going to show you that highlight the various features of ectopic pregnancy. Now this is a patient who's 21 year old female with a beta HCG of 6,000, previous scan done 48 hours ago, but no intrauterine pregnancy seen and no ectopic seen. As we scan, we can scan the area near the left ovary and we see a very clear gestation sac lying adjacent to the left ovary. You can in fact also see a yolk sac and cardiac activity within. We look for free fluid, we look for free fluid in the pouch of Douglas or presence of any clots as well as free fluid in the abdomen. We don't see it here, so this is a case of an unruptured left-sided tubal pregnancy. Now here's another case. This is a patient who came and almost collapsed on the table and as we scan, we see a huge amount of fluid in the Morrison's pouch. You can see the right kidney here and you can see fluid with internal echoes noted just in the subhepatic region. As we move the probe down, you can very clearly see again a right-sided ectopic pregnancy lying to the right of the patient's uterus. This is a ruptured right-sided ectopic pregnancy with hemoperitoneum. Now here is our third case. Now this patient had a beta HCG of 21,000 and no ectopic was found on a scan done a week ago. The patient came back after a week and uh, as we can see here, very clearly seen ectopic pregnancy seen to the left of the ovary. Ovary has a corpus luteal as well. So this again was a case of an unruptured left-sided ectopic pregnancy. Another case here, a little tricky one because this patient had come with a hemorrhagic cyst in the left ovary. And as we scan this patient, we can see the cyst here in the left ovary. But we move the probe and you see another adnexal structure adjacent to it. We can't see it too well and be sure that it's an ectopic, but sometimes here the color Doppler comes in handy. As we scan and put on the color, you can actually see a nice ring of fire sign outside the ovary. So this turned out to be a very small left-sided ectopic pregnancy. This patient had to be operated as she soon developed blood clots in the POD on a subsequent scan done an hour later. Our last case, and this one is an important type of ectopic pregnancy, especially in patients with previous caesarean sections. And you can see an empty uterus, but a pregnancy sac seen in the caesarean scar. You can see it here along the anterior aspect of the endometrial lining within the scar. And a 3D also helps defining the position of this pregnancy sac. This also cannot be continued and needs to be terminated. 